Good morning, internets. How are you? Well, I say good morning, but it's uh, 12 o'clock. Me and Mallory woke up at 10. We got nine hours of sleep. We went to bed at 1. Um, just because this past week, uh, we've been getting to bed early and waking up early. Um, you know, because of being on vacation and wanting to do stuff in the day. So we've kind of turned around our sleep schedules. Which, in all honesty, is probably a very, very good thing. So... That's a plus. The first thing we're gonna do today is get some lunch because we're really, really, really hungry. We got several things to do. Um, we have to go to Radio Shack to buy a Coupler. Um, coupler is uh, also known as a lesbian. Um, well, maybe it's not, but I call it that. It's basically a female to female of the same type of cable. And I need a uh, 8 inch, 8 inch, or a headphone jack. Later, I believe we're going to the spa so Mallory can get her eyebrows done one last time, and then my mom gets off work, and she wanted to have a nice dinner one last time, because if you remember, tomorrow we're going to Wisconsin, and Mallory's not coming back. Um, so this is like her last day at the beach sort of thing. Um, so, yeah. We decided to go to Atlanta Bread. My parents have always talked really good about this place, but I've never been. And she's never been, so we decided we were going to try it. It's pretty much like Panera, and I like Panera, so it should be good. I got half a roast beef and some Wisconsin cheese soup. And I was going to do the half and half thing until I saw this baby. It was the turkey club panini. It's got like turkey and bacon and other delicious stuff on it. You dip it in honey mustard, so. Also it came with kettle chips, which I didn't know that it was going to do that, but I love kettle chips. They're my favorite kind of chip. So, yeah. I'm pretty excited about this. Um, I can't imagine this not tasting good. That is really good. Wow. Walmart, we're here to buy a lesbian, or a coupler. You're pretty sure they're not officially called lesbians, but I know I've heard that somewhere. Also, it's like two females. I should probably just stop. They don't have them. So we get a good radio shack. Let me know if you see a radio shack. Oh. Look, there's one. Oh, hey, there's one. There's the lesbian. Four dollars. Good. And the last thing on the agenda, for at least right now, um, until we can go to the spa and dinner and all that other crap, is going to the beach, which is where we're at now. And I'm in a white shirt because I refuse to get burnt anymore because I got a little toasty in Florida and I'm peeling now. It wasn't too bad. It was never really burnt, burnt. It just kind of hurt a little. But uh, I'm wearing a white shirt just to be safe. Mallory's not though. Mallory is looking good. Cue a bunch of comments about that. I have the camera in a plastic bag if it's not already pretty obvious. Uh, just because we're in the water and uh, it's safer in a bag. Yeah. Hello, cutie. Are you enjoying yourself? I stepped on something. What'd you step on? Seaweed. Oh. It was gross. Hmm. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna go out and come back in. Okay. Go ahead. Mallory was uh, seven on the pavement get into the car and she only took like three steps and like her feet are all hurting and burnt and stuff and I'm not sure if they're blistered or not but she has a very bad history, history <laughs> of getting burnt on her feet super easily um, do, you, do, you, do any of you guys have that issue because my feet are fine like I can walk across like molten lava and my feet are like we cool but if she like touches it, hot cement for a second, like she gets blisters. And there was one time where she had to walk across the, the highway because we had parked over there and then the beach was over there. 
and like she had I don't know how many blisters just all over her feet and it was really bad and they took a long time to heal so I just wanted to know if that was common if any of you guys also have like super super sensitive feet um, because Mallory sure does coincidentally she also has very very tiny feet what size shoes do you wear Mal? that depends five second fit fours you can fit children's sizes on the opposite end of the spectrum, my feet are huge, and I wear size 14 shoes, um, size four, somewhere between 13 and 15, normally 14, but boots and sandals are normally a little different. Next thing to do was the spa, but like it's it's done. But I did get this really crappy tea. What? You broke a mirror. I broke a mirror. Oh. Man. Do you have any idea how much bad luck you're going to have? There's shards of it on the floor, too. Be careful. Oh, boy. Just when I thought our luck couldn't get any worse. <laughs> well, we're screwed. <laughs> this place again. People probably recall the fact that we ate here at one point in time. We ate 80 crabs at once. Yeah. That was a good crab eating. Uh, I brought was her. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna eat this place again, just because it's Mallory's last day here in the beach. So, crab legs, crab legs, crab legs. Hey, crab legs, crab legs, crab legs. Crab legs. Crab legs. Unlike last time, I'm actually going to keep track of how many of these things I eat. Because last time it was a lot. This time it's gonna be a little more. Um, so, for the record, um, this is gonna be is equal to one. So the number I come up with at the end will be multiplied times however many of these I ate, which is a claw and four legs. So I'm starting with two, and uh, hopefully I get to at least ten, uh, which would be five crabs. But we'll see how it goes. I did four crabs. I did eight of the five leg things, so that's four crabs. So I ate four crabs today. But, um, I feel like I could eat more, but I don't want to, because it's like crabs in my mouth, and I just, I just, so many crabs, so many crabs. Um, I'm gonna go try to get some real food, which probably gonna consist of like five or six cookies. I'm not really filling the food groups today, but as I suspected, I went straight to dessert. <coughs> You have chocolate pudding, baklava, and chocolate chip cookies. And I say cookies because there were two others, but I ate both of them. Now it's just one. I was dipping them in the, the, the chocolate pudding, and it was very, very good. I ate nothing but crabs and dessert. Not a very healthy meal. Austin came over, and we've been playing Magic for the last several hours. Um, we just kind of finished up to take a break for pizza. But he built a uh, green-white deck, uh, Vengevine, Bane Slayer, Sun Titan, um, and he was testing it out. And we did my red deck wins versus that, and he won 3-2, which is good. That's very good. Then I played my white deck, which I thought would do worse. And we've played like six games, and I've actually done 4-2, so I'm winning with white. Um, but Day of Judgment is not his friend, because he's ramping. He's ramping fast. Bane Slayer on turn 3 has happened many times, uh, and it's scary. I put together um, what will be my new deck come October when everything rotates out, because obviously red deck wins will be gone. Um, and it's uh, a landfall deck um, with Kiln Fiend. And Kiln Fiend is an amazing, amazing card. Um, I was doing uh, two different games. I did 10 damage with Kiln Fiend on turn three, which is really good. And every time I played against Austin with that deck, it did really well, and I didn't lose one time with it, so pretty pleased with that. We are packing everything up. Um, my stuff's done. I'm, I'm, I'm done packing, but since Mallory's not coming back, she's, you know, got to figure out how to get everything and all the bags and stuff like that, so it's, uh, it's quite a crazy little ordeal. She's got everything. It's all got to go on a plane, so 
trying to figure out how to get like a lot of her stuff in my bags and then take really big carry-on bags and we had to go online and like check to make sure that they were the right specifications and stuff so <sighs> yeah and the bad thing is we leave in the morning at 9 and it's 1.30 so we're probably going to be up another hour easy trying to get everything ready probably at 2 it's not going to sleep much not too bad since Austin's driving but it's going to be a long day tomorrow especially because uh, we actually are probably going to get to the Raleigh airport like 1 p.m. at the latest and our flight doesn't leave till 7 so we're going to be there for like 6 hours just waiting around and that's not very fun but I guess you do what you got to do